Hello everyone, this is Visit 15 welcoming you to my first episode for Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit here for the PlayStation 3. Um, I'm just gonna skip over these things. Uh, you can skip over uh, these things just pushing uh, the start button. Just uh, automatically go into uh, the first part of the game here, so... Um, Let's see, uh, start. Go. Okay. I still have not gotten my backups to work for this game, so. Okay. And here are some of the uh, options that we can do at first. Um, um, trial is uh, basically a. Uh, one player versus whatever. I've uh, already shot off versus. I'm going to be doing the tutorial and training maybe. Um, the options, um, you can switch it to Japanese language if you want, but I'm just gonna just leave it on uh, English. For this first video, I am going to be doing uh, the basic. Um, I will be uh, cutting out these uh, loading screens, so uh, don't worry about that. But I just uh, wanted to show off the first one. Uh, just uh, show what the loading screen looks okay, like. Okay, let's begin, Gohan. The Saiyans are gonna be here soon. Right. Well, that outfit actually looks good on you. <laughs> Listen up. We're gonna be doing some pretty intense training. But before that, I want to go over the basics one more time. You'll be useless if you can't move. You understand what I'm saying? Right! Okay, first, let me explain the screen. This is the health gauge. You win a battle by attacking the enemy until his health is completely gone. On the other hand, when your health is completely gone, you lose. Don't get careless, and don't hold back until you're sure it's over. Right. This is the key gauge. You can use your key for a variety of different kinds of moves. Even if you use up all of your key, it'll gradually recover as you fight. If you charge your key up all the way, you can use especially powerful moves. Learn to use it well. Right. This is the fatigue gauge. <laughs> when it gets full, you'll be too tired to move. If it happens to your opponent, attack! Right. This is a drama piece. I'll explain more about that later. Right! Alright, that's enough about the screen. Next is movement. Okay, thank you! Clear! I'll be uh, skipping these things too, so... But, uh... I just wanted to uh, kind of show the first one, just so... You could, uh, see, so... Now, some of these are really easy to do, some of them are a little more difficult, and uh, I'll be pointing out uh, the more difficult ones to do uh, when they come up, so... Let's begin. Right! Let's start with the basics. Try dashing forward and backward. Yeah, this one is, uh, it's of course uh, pretty easy to do. This is uh, just the basic movement, so... And, um, some of these uh, come across uh, kind of by accident, so uh, you might be just doing a regular dash and uh, we'll do a double dash for you, so. Come on. Clear! When you face an attack with a big opening, use a shift move to quickly move left or right. The shift move um, is one of those moves that uh, kind of works for you sometimes Whoa. and kind of doesn't. Um, Clear. <laughs> Looks like you got the basics down, but you can't defeat your enemies by just running away. You have to be aggressive. You have to attack. That's right. Time to learn attacks. Yes, Mr. Piccolo. Clear. Oh! <laughs> 
Now for the basics of attacking. Try out some smash attacks and rush attacks. Uh, so the smash attack uh, is kind of uh, your heavy attack and your rush right. attack. It's basically basically uh, your uh, your small attack. So delivering a series of attacks is called a combination. Try it out. Um, small attacks are, uh, right. of course, uh, quicker than uh, yeah. heavy attacks. But heavy attacks can be very useful. The attacks you use depend on how you combine the various commands together. If you use the same pattern too much, your enemy will counterattack. By using commands effectively, you can prevent your enemy from reading you. You can also attack while dashing. Attacking while moving quickly can be very effective. Use dash attacks whenever you can. Dash attacks, uh, you'll use, uh, quite often. Especially the, uh, heavy one. Fight. Clear. Next, we'll do charge attacks. A charge attack is a powerful attack that penetrates your opponent's guard. And of course, this is the only way to really get through uh, the guard uh, with a with a regular attack. So. Certain attacks can break through a guarding opponent's stance. Try out different attacks to see which ones have this guard crush ability. Right. Most smash attacks have an attack through effect. This means you can complete the attack even if you take a hit yourself. Now, try to attack through my... See, th this is the main reason to use a uh, heavy attack. Because your opponents are uh, bringing up their guard quite often, and uh, you'll have to, of course, break it, so... But two attacks with counterbalance abilities collide. The winner of that clash is decided by time. Whoever launched their attack later will have the advantage. Okay, looks like you're doing fine in the attacks. Let's move on. 